Good evening. We begin tonight by digging deeper into the murder mystery involving Jennifer Dulos. Tonight, we're uncovering more about the lawyer arrested in the case. What we can tell you right now about his legal troubles and how Fotis Dulos got involved. We have the very latest on that. Tonight, with Courtney Zeller, she's been looking into the history of Kent Mawinney. Courtney? Well, hi, Dennis. Yes, we have phone calls from Dulos to McWinney's estranged wife, and we've also obtained surveillance video. Uh, McWinney's estranged wife feels this was an attempt on her life, and now this is all unfolding a month before Jennifer went missing. Hi, Terry. It's uh, Fotis Dulos. Hope you're doing well. A phone call from Fotis Dulos to Kent McWinney's estranged wife, Sherry Haddock. And I'm just trying to touch space with you to see what the plan is so I can plan my uh, afternoon, evening accordingly. Okay, call me back. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. It's a twist of events close to Jennifer Dulos' disappearance. Mawinney, who was Fotis Dulos' attorney and personal friend, was arrested for conspiracy to commit murder charges. The two men were going through lengthy divorces. But for McGuinney's estranged wife, she thought it was strange Fotis was getting involved since they only met each other once in 2014. In court documents we've obtained, Fotis Dulos called Sherry and mentioned how hearing about their marital problems had made him sad. A few of the phone calls came days before Jennifer disappeared. Sherry agreed to meet Fotis at a West Hartford restaurant. Nothing came of it, but Fotis told Sherry the two should get together without the lawyers present. A month before that, Sherry is concerned that what she witnessed may have been an attempt on her life. And this is the video. It's outside her home. Take a look at the man in the yard. He appears to be holding a white plastic bag. According to court documents, the man was also carrying a crowbar and a plastic bag that contained what appeared to Sherry to be a gas canister. She says the man didn't announce himself. The man did not knock. The man used the crowbar and attempted to forcibly enter the homestead via the garage door. According to police, they told Sherry that her husband knew the man who attempted to break into her house. Mawinney is named beneficiary of Sherry's life insurance policy in the amount of $750,000. Mawinney was arrested twice by South Windsor police last year. He's facing charges of violating a protective order, sexual assault, and disorderly conduct. And we talked to Sherry's attorney today. He believes this divorce case will continue to move forward, even though there is now this uh, criminal case uh, pending. I also want to mention, I did talk to Winnie's attorney actually moments ago before I came on air. I'm told he did not post bond. He has not posted bond, and he's still currently in prison tonight. We're live with the Mobile Newsroom. Courtney Zeller, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.